Hello everyone, today we are going to take this, a simple hole in your wall, and turn it into this. Just a normal wall with no hole. What you'll need for said project, maybe not this big of a bucket, but some of your drywall spackling. I love this stuff because it goes on pink and once all the moisture is gone, it turns white so you know it's ready to sand. Great stuff. Uh, multiple putty knives if you choose. It definitely makes the project easier. I have two, one small, one medium. A sanding block, sandpaper also works. 220 grit is usually a good choice. And last but not least, this is the most important, a wall patch. There are other ways to do this, but I'm telling you, I've been using these for a long time. There's adhesive on the backside, I'll show you in a second. Very easy to use, makes the whole process simpler. All right, here we go. First thing you're gonna wanna do may seem a bit odd, but you're actually gonna take your putty knife or really anything to clean up the edges and loose debris on the wall and get it as smooth as possible before starting. After you do that, take your drywall patch, and again, it's in the link in the description below. Place it over the hole that you're trying to cover. And as you can see, I have a large hole on the left here. If you are covering a hole with wiring, obviously make sure that wiring is fully disconnected. These patches do have adhesive on the back, so you can stick them on the wall and then push down to make sure they stay. Once you've done that, it's time to pull out your spackling. You also hear it referred to as drywall mud, joint compound, it has a lot of different names. Again, I love this drywall mud though because it goes on pink and then when all the moisture has dried, AKA when it's ready to be sanded, it'll be completely white. As you can see, I've put on a generous amount and spread it around first with my small putty knife and then with the medium putty knife, getting it as smooth as possible. Once you feel like you've done that, go ahead and let it dry. To fully dry, it'll take a few hours and then you can come back with a sanding block or a piece of sandpaper. Around 220 grit sandpaper is the way to go. Give it a good sand, but also know that you'll be plastering again and the final sanding will be where you can make final touch-ups. And then you'll give it one more helping of plaster, spread it out again, covering any indiscrepancies that you left from the previous one. And I will say, with small holes, you don't need to do multiple takes like this, but the bigger the hole and surface area that you're plastering, it's likely that you'll need to make a few passes. Once again, you'll let it dry, go over it with your sanding block, make sure it's nice and smooth, and then you're obviously going to paint it back to your original color of the wall. I recommend using a rolling brush just to match the texture that was on the wall before. And just like that, you've patched a hole in the drywall of your house. Well, that's it. The only thing I might have not added during this video was when you're sanding uh, your mud, your dried mud up, it does create a bit of a mess. Uh, you're gonna wanna keep a vacuum nearby, a broom, a dustpan, something like that, and uh, you should be good to go. That's all for today. If you liked the video, comment, like, subscribe. And there will be more of these coming, more DIYs in this house that has lots of little projects. Until next time, see you later.